Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. Uh, day two, review a day for the Riddick series. Um, as you know, I am wearing the same shirt. That's because this movie is only 32 minutes long, and I decided to do it straight after I saw Pitch Black. So I'm giving the review the same day, except that it's going to be a different day when it actually is uploaded. So with that being said, let's get into Riddick Dark Fury, or Chronicles of Riddick Dark Fury. All the actors from the first movie that survived are in this movie. Vin Diesel, Keith David, Rihanna Griffith, and they introduced Nick Shinlin's character Tombs in this movie. And Tress McNeil, I believe, is the old lady in this movie that captures their ship. Um, the movie is pure anime. It's Japanime. The director was Peter Chung. And the writer was Brett Matthews. The, this movie does not pass objectively. This causes inconsistency with the storytelling. It also adds some things that sh could have been skipped. But if you pay attention to certain deleted scenes from Chronicles of Riddick, you will realize that the universal denominations that Nick Shinlin's character Tombs in this movie finds does not match and is not accurate. Um, this movie was basically made for two reasons. One, to establish the dark path that Jack gets started on and to basically provide filler between Pitch Black and uh, Chronicles of Riddick. The story is compelling, do not get me wrong. Subjectively, this movie is passable. But it's not perfect. So, objective, it's 3 out of 5, it doesn't pass. Subjective, it's, um, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. It's passes, it passes, but there are inconsistencies, I still think, are what hurt this movie. Um, moviegoer, I will give it a 4.5 out of 5. I enjoyed it, but there was some stuff in there that just irks me even as a moviegoer. The animation is good. The writing is what hurts this movie because it creates the inconsistencies. Um, the the fighting, the action, the voice acting is very well done, with uh, exception to one line, really. But other than that, it's really good. The subjective bits are the inconsistencies. Um, to point them out, I will give a little bit of spoilers, folks. There are not... Or Furia was basically laid waste. That is established in Chronicles of Riddick, uh, the planet where Riddick is from. He is a Furian. Now, he also, or they, you see a Furian on the ship, so it kind of makes you wonder how many are out there. I mean, there was only two known Furians in this series of the Chronicles of Riddick. So having a third, it it's, makes a person wonder, was this done intentionally or what? The other is a price on Riddick's head that goes against what the prices are in the movies. So yeah. Um, the store, or the point where Jack is put on the dark path that she or that you see her in in Chronicles of Riddick is a very good starting point for that path 
I'm not going to spoil what happens, but basically I'm willing to bet many can guess. Um, other than that, there's really not much else to discuss when you're doing a spoiler-free review, so I am going to stop it here. Y'all know the drill, folks. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What did you think of Dark Fury? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you, or did you catch the inconsistencies? If you have seen it, um, what are your thoughts? Let me know all of that down in the comment section below. This has been Orange Chat Reviews. Catch you all on the next one, and stay humble.